Hi, 你们好 In this video, I'm going to help you clarify the concept of where to put tone marks on the pinyin syllables. So you might see lots of pinyin syllables where the tone marks are being put here and there, and you might wonder where to put them. So this video will clarify that for you to understand. So first, you can see on the top there are six basic Chinese vowels. Okay, so they're written in the correct alphabetical order. So there are a, o, e, i, u, u. Okay, it's very important to remember this order. Okay, they are presented in the correct alphabetical order. Okay, so this order will help you um, know where to put tone mark. Okay, at the right place. So rule number one: only put tone mark on the vowels in Chinese. Which means you only put tone mark on one of these vowels, never on consonant. So, for example, ni. So ni means you, and you can see the tone mark. Okay, the third tone is on the vowel e, not n, not consonant. Okay, I'll give you two more examples. Um, for example, ba 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 means father or dad. So you can see the tone mark is on the vowel a, ah, not b, not the consonant. Last one, um, ge ge, ge means older brother, and the tone mark is on the a, uh, the vowel as well, not on the consonant. Okay, clear about rule number one. Let's look at rule number two. So if there are more than one vowel in the pinyin syllable. Put tone mark on the vowel that goes first in the alphabetical order. So this is why it's important for you to remember this order, a o e i u u, because um, you always put tone mark um, on the the vowel that goes first. So for example, yo. So it's the third tone, yo. Okay, it's the third tone. So you can see all. Goes before u, so the tone mark is on the o. Okay, clear. I'll give you some more examples as well, like um, uh, 借. A 借 means um, borrow. So you can see um, e is before e. Okay, in the alphabetic order. So that's why um, the tone mark is on e, not e. Okay, last one. Um, shong. Okay, shong has multiple meanings depending on what the character looks like. Uh, one of the meaning is older brother as well. So shong. So you can see o goes before e. So the tone mark is on o. Okay, clear about rule number two now. Okay, rule number three. The only exception is the combined vowel yo. So it's e u yo, where the tone mark is put on u, not e. Okay, so u is after e, but in this exception, the tone mark is on u, not on e. For example, uh, number six is liu. Okay, liu is the fourth falling tone, so you can see the tone mark is on the u, not e. Okay, for example. Um, mother's brother, uh, which is your uncle, you call them jiu jiu. Okay, jiu jiu, jiu, jiu. So it's the fourth falling tone as well. So you can see um, the tone mark is on the wu, not on the e. All right, are you clear about the three rules now? So if you understand the three rules, then you will totally know where to put the tone mark on the pinyin syllables. I hope you have learned a lot and being totally clear now. So I'll see you in the next video.